Good morning, everyone. I want to thank you for joining us today for our 3CX communication solution demonstration. I'm Chuck Cooper III, the Strategic Alliance Specialist here at PGH Networks. For those of you who don't know, PGH Networks is a Pittsburgh-based IT firm, and we're essentially located uh, close to downtown Pittsburgh, right in Green Tree. And we offer an array of technological solutions to your business from managed and co-managed services, cloud computing, network security, business continuity, communications, and compliance. We were founded on the mission to help clients better understand and utilize technology to increase efficiencies and product and profitability while delivering great everyday service. Also joining me on today's call is Greg Pack. Greg is a managing partner here at PGH Networks and will provide a brief overview of the 3X communication solution. And Derek Geisler. Derek is the Director of Sales and Marketing here at PGH Networks. And Derek will do a 3CX demo and provide us with a deep dive into the state of the art functionality of the 3CX solution. At this time, it's my pleasure to turn it over to Greg Pack. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, like Chuck mentioned, I'm going to give a, a brief overview of the of the uh, the solution and then hand things off to Derek. So, um, PGH is a 3CX partner. Uh, we're actually a gold partner, and what that means is we've gone through uh, additional certifications um, and uh, criteria in order to become uh, a gold partner. Um, over over the years, um, we've had a lot of experience with the product, a lot of success with the product, and we wanted to share that with you today. If you can go to the next slide, please. Part of the reason we love and our clients love this product is really the flexibility. Um, past phone systems, phone systems, um, more the on-premise based solutions, at times might be limited. Um, but really the 3CX solution gives you, as you can see on the, on the screen here, a wide uh, variety of, of options, whether it be queuing, apps, any device, uh, web, chat, et cetera. So Derek's gonna dive into that. I won't, won't steal his thunder just yet, but I want to give that brief overview. The other great thing about it is we find so many people asking us, um, you know, with with maybe older systems, how can I integrate this into my other tools, my other software, things I use to to run the business. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about things like Salesforce, uh, Outlook, et cetera. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to hand things off to Derek. Like I said, I don't want to steal too much of his thunder. So Derek, if you want to go ahead and uh, get into the live demo. Thanks, Greg, um, and thanks, Chuck, for the uh, introductions. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, glad glad that you're all able to join. Um, hopefully, uh, we're able to give you a, a really good uh, overview of the 3CX solution. Um, and I wanted to just point out that um, it's very easy to use. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that throughout this demonstration. Uh, so, Basically, the way that we do the we deploy our 3CX, um, it's somewhat unlike any other uh, type of company uh, in some ways because we do come from a bit of a traditional PBX heritage, if you will. And so we like to basically be able to give you that kind of hometown hometown feel, uh, look and feel from a from a support standpoint. Um, However, as we start to actually build the solution, uh, everything starts with an email. So uh, all of the uh, users that we uh, we build inside of the system get an email, and um, that email is going to look like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen with you, and we'll start to walk through what this looks like. So as I mentioned, everything starts with an email. Um, so the 3CX as we build it out, we build out the user information. And um, within that, we ask for the email addresses of all the employees. Uh, and we send out this email. Uh, this email is gonna be a really basic starting point for how to basically do everything that you need to know inside of the 3CX solution uh, to, to make and take calls on a daily basis. So if I start up in the left hand, um, there's a quick getting started guide. We can go ahead and preview that. Uh, it's going to give you the um, ability to look at uh, the first thing is 
we're going to give you access to a web client. So the 3CX web client. So this is really nice because I don't have to actually download anything to my device. I don't have to own a specific type of device. I don't have to manage a client. I just need to have a browser. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. Uh, it's going to walk you through logging into that solution, making and receiving phone calls, managing your status. Yes, we do have the ability to to let people know um, what's going on with my day um, by using different colors for statuses. Uh, it will give me the ability to right click on a phone number inside of a browser, uh, inside of a website, right click on it, make phone calls, do those types of things. And I do have some chat capability inside the system as well, which I'll walk you through. The second piece of the system is I have the ability to um, Download the download an app to either my iOS or Android device. So now I can take this mobile device that we all know and love and I can repurpose it for business purposes. I no longer need to share my personal cell phone number if I don't want to. So that's awesome. As we get in further down, we do have the ability to have desk phones on this on this solution. So for those users that really just like to be able to make and take calls from a handset, uh, no problem. We can we can uh, mix and match and and make sure that you have that ability. Um, a lot of times receptionists like that functionality and then just some of your more um, heavy users that don't really like to use the computer to make and take calls, no problem. We'll put a desk phone in. And we've got your, we've got a number of different uh, manufacturers that we support in order to um, give you what you need. Uh, and then we have, uh, finally, we have, with all the systems that we have, we have the ability to do audio and web conferencing. Uh, so this is, uh, a bit of a differentiator as it pertains to a lot of your hosted uh, voice over IP solutions. Um, basically, I can do either a scheduled or an ad hoc audio or web conference solution um, with really anybody in the world. Uh, as long as they have a browser, they can they can join a web conference um, and they don't have to actually have the application. They don't have to be part of the company, what have you. So it is a really nice feature. So this quick getting started guide is going to be uh, really easy. Give you a kind of a quick overview of what you're what what you can do with the system. As I move over, for those users that just want to have a client loaded onto their device, no problem. Uh, this is a provisioning application. I basically just double click on it. I hit run. It runs ins inside of my Windows um, device, and uh, I have an app that that is just that just lives on my system all the time, no problem. And then the final thing is um, is a QR code. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, but this is going to be how we're going to set up our device um, for our uh, iOS or, or Android device. So uh, it's pretty neat. I'll walk you through that. I'm going to use my iPad, which I have shared to the um, to this to this uh, call right now, uh, and I'll walk you through what that looks like. It's it's a pretty slick uh, setup. So as I scroll, as I get into the body of the email, this is really where all the meat of the email um, comes into play. So uh, first things first, I have my extension. Uh, with any of the systems, we can either create brand new extensions for your employees, or we can mirror what you have today um, in your current PBX solution or your current hosted solution, no problem. We do have an extension pin number, and that really is only gonna be used for voicemail uh, if I do have a desk phone. So if you are using a desk phone, that'll be the voicemail number. And then any, you know, I can dial in and check voicemail by dialing 9999. As we go through this demonstration, I will show you there's a number of ways to check voicemail. Uh, they make it really easy. Um, and so I'll walk you through the, a bunch of different ways to check voicemail. The web client, as I look on the web client, uh, basically it's going to give me my login and password and it's going to give me where to log in at. So basically I'm looking at this pghnetworks.3cx.us front slash web client. If that was your system, it would have your name in there instead of PGH Networks. Uh, and I would just click on that and it's going to re redirect me to the, to the site. I'll show you that here in a second. And then the final thing is, um, you know, the extension anywhere app that we have for iOS or Android. And I'm going to walk you through what that looks like. So let's go ahead to the web client for now. Go ahead and click on the app. And it's going to bring me to the web client. Um, so this is a new version of the web client uh, right now. 
basically, um, this is version 18. We've recently updated uh, the application. It did have a little bit of a different look and feel. As you can see, they're starting to drill toward a Microsoft Teams-esque look and feel with everything being done the left-hand side. It has a very similar feel uh, that Microsoft Teams does. Um, but as we go into this, basically, uh, at the top is your team. Your team is going to be anything that is associated to users that are functioning on the system. So um, as you can look right here, these are the extensions that are associated to the system. If I go above that, I am going to see my PGH Networks logo. When I click on that, it's gonna show that, um, it's gonna show my name and my extension. It's, and then it, you're gonna see a bunch of different colors. And these are the uh, colors that I'm using to determine what's going on in my day. OK, so my presence capabilities that we talked about during the initial um, demonstration or the initial walkthrough of the um, the email. So as you can see right now, I'm in red. And if I look down on each one of these users or one of these extensions, you can see there's a couple different colors. So green means that I'm available. Uh, I'm, I'm not currently using my phone. I'm available and I can take calls. Yellow means I'm currently in a call. And then red means that I'm in do not disturb. So why am I in do not disturb? So another cool feature of the of the system, which is something that can be managed on a per user basis, is we do have the ability to integrate into your calendar to determine what's going on. So I actually have that feature turned on. So anytime that I have a meeting scheduled and, and the system dips into my calendar and sees that I'm currently in a meeting, I basically go into do not disturb mode and my calls go to voicemail directly. So I don't actually see calls ring in. Um, they basically just say, hey, I know you're in a meeting. Don't worry about it. You can get to these calls later. Once I get out of the meeting, I will go back into available mode or whatever mode I choose. So as I click back up here into um, onto, onto the, the logo, uh, I can actually even go in here and I can manually adjust that as well. So maybe I'm currently in Do Not Disturb because I'm in a meeting, but maybe that meeting is not super important and I do want, I'm waiting on a phone call or what have you. I could just manually click into here and click available and then you'll immediately see that this, that this uh, changes to green. So just a heads up on that, it's, it is a really nice feature. So as I drill into this team section, these are gonna be all my extensions. As I move to the right over here, I have the ability to group extensions. And that can be done either at a global level, so we can set that up um, as we do the implementation of the system, or the users can set this up on their own. So right now I have all groups, I've got my favorites, and then we've got a couple other groups that were kind of built within the system. So as I click on favorites, you'll see I don't have currently anybody in my favorites. I wonder why that is. Well, it's because I have to add them. So as a user, I have the ability to create a favorites uh, group on my own, right? So uh, simply by, if I wanna add people to my favorites, it's pretty easy. I would just basically go in here and there's a star and I would click on the star and I would add that star for anybody that I want in my favorites group, no problem. As I click down, I click on favorites, and you can see all of those users are now added. As I uncheck the star, it's gonna move them out of favorites, and I'm back to having no favorites again. So I do have the ability, like I mentioned, to create those different groups. Uh, also, I can create, um, if I want, I have a plus sign here, I can create a new chat, a new call, or a new meeting uh, anytime I want. As I drill down into these individual users, I have the ability or individual extensions. I'll also see buttons pop up as I'm making these adjustments, right? So I have the ability that I can call somebody. I can do a quick video call. I can chat with somebody. Yes, as I mentioned before, we do have chat capabilities built into the system. Um, I can add them to my favorites and I can sh actually do a number of other things. So I have the ability I can directly intercom them. If I want to send an email, yes, we do have an integration with your Office 365 email if you want. Um, I can send an email right from here. I can go direct to voicemail or I can send, a, send them a request for a video conference. So it is a pretty nice feature. Uh, really, I have the ability to see everything that's going on right within the system on this, on this screen. 
As I drill down, I did mention that we do have chatting. So chatting is a couple different things. So uh, first thing is I have the ability that I can chat internally. So if I click on this plus sign and I wanted to start a chat, I could start the chat. I could pick who I want to chat with. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Anthony Haley. He always seems to be available for chats and he loves it. Hey, Anthony. What's for lunch today? So what you see is you'll see a single a single check mark when uh, I do send a chat. And then you'll see a double check mark, check mark when he reads it and it's been reviewed. And then what you'll what will end up happening and is he'll actually respond back and I'll have that in the thread. What are you making? Sandwiches, of course. So he's actually reviewed it again and he'll he'll respond back. So it is a nice quick way that um, if you don't currently have a chat solution like a Microsoft Teams, um, you get this included with the solution at no additional charge. It is very functional and just so you're aware, as I show you, it works on all the different applications. So I'll have the ability to see my chats inside of my iOS or Android device. I'll have the ability to see it inside of the actual um, Microsoft, uh, uh, the w Windows client. So um, everything integrates all together. It is very, very nice. So on top of just an individual chat, I can also do a group chat if I want. And what I would do is just add a number of people to that chat and it would be very similar to what I did with Anthony. And then the final thing is, is we do have the ability to integrate and create an SMS text. So chatting is anything inside of the system. SMS is anything external. So with, um, with the onset of every, everybody working remote and things taking and things happening, Texting has become very, very much a business uh, necessity, right? Um, the problem with texting, though, is if for some reason I do have my own personal uh, cell phone or I am, I do have even a company phone and I just don't want to share my number, it can be a challenge, right? Uh, so that's where this comes in. And we do have the ability to, to SMS. And when I send an SMS, I have the ability to send it and show my company phone number. Right, so uh, whatever my desk phone number is, I have the ability to show it. You can tell the difference between a chat and an SMS by looking right here. You will see um, that within this SMS, there is a blue circle that has a cell phone looking device in it. And that means that I'm actually SMSing out to the outside world. So we have the ability to basically create, make your desk phone now become very functional like your cell phone does. I can do that SMS in the same way using my iOS or Android device or the Windows app. So it is it is very nice. As we drill down further, um, we have the ability to do a quick meeting, so a video conference. So video conferencing is built into this. It's very similar to like a go to meeting, a, um, a Microsoft Teams, a Zoom. Uh, where I can basically send out an invite to somebody. They can join a web conference by just having a browser. And um, I can do things like sharing my screen, um, managing their screen, giving them control, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it is very functional and is included with every extension that we offer with the system. As I go further down, I have my calls, so uh, my missed calls, uh, I'm gonna give you the ability to see missed and uh, inbound, outbound calls really on any application. Uh, so you'll see them no matter what device you're connecting with. If I drill to the right hand side, I'm gonna see all, I'm gonna have incoming, I'm gonna have outgoing, missed and abandoned. As I go into a specific call, if they're already a um, contact in the system, I will have the ability that I can call them back or I can delete the call log. If they are not currently a, a, a contact in the system, I have the ability to either call them back, delete them, or I can add them as a contact. So if I don't recognize the user as a contact, I can just type their name in and add them as a contact inside of the system and they will be added to my personal uh, contacts. If I click the checkbox right here, they will also add them to company contacts. And I'll show you what contacts look like here in a second. So 
the con the the missed calls um, is a little bit different than a lot of your traditional type PBX type uh, functionality. Um, most of the uh, older systems uh, they only gave you like a limited view of of, of your missed calls, so um, maybe 10 to 15 of your last inbound, outbound, um, and missed. Uh, this system goes back to uh, inception of the system. So I can just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and, and, and find all my own um, calls. So it is really nice. So as I click down the left side again, um, I will see what's called a panel. So um, the panel is basically a receptionist type functionality um, where I can actually see calls that are coming in and see who's on calls and what have you. I have the ability that I can click, right click on those calls and do certain things. I can transfer, park, drop, I can record or stop recording uh, and do a number of things. As I click into here, I have the ability that I can split this out, have this as a completely separate um, panel, if you will. And also I can drill in and say, hey, I wanna look at all calls. I wanna look at just calls that are sitting in my queue. We do have the ability to queue calls. So if you are um, a service -based industry, in a service-based industry and you get a lot of phone calls coming in, uh, similar to what we do in our system, um, we have the ability to say, hey, thanks for holding. Your call's important to us. You know, you're currently the next uh, person in line and you have a 30 second wait time. We also have the ability to do queue callback, which is another very nice feature of the system. So uh, let's just say that queue is overloaded. Uh, there's too many people that are calling in. You're having a really busy day. Um, we, do, we can give callers the ability to say, hey, you know what? Why don't you call me back when you guys become available? And basically it'll put them that, that phone call into the queue for the next available agent to call them back. So um, just know, understand that those features are, are available. Uh, it's not for everybody, but it is for people that are, that are in the service industry and they do get a lot of inbound phone calls. Um, we have the ability to set those different queues up for you. We also have the ability to create a wall board. So this is really kind of more geared towards your supervisors um, where basically, or we can have this loaded on a screen uh, inside of your office where basically we can say, hey, how many calls are currently waiting? You know, what's the average talk time? Have we answered? Have we abandoned? You know, how many agents have been running? You know, what are the total calls? Basically just a quick wall board view of what's going on in the system as it pertains to right now or for the day. So as I drill into here now, we're gonna get into a little bit more of the meat. So the contacts. Contacts are awesome. This is a really cool application. Um, so contacts come in a number of different ways. As I click over here on the right, I'm going to see all contacts. I'm going to see company, personal, Microsoft 365, and CRM. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that we can do with contacts, okay? So all contacts is just going to be everything merged into one. Company contacts are going to be contacts that are viewable or available by everybody in the company, okay? So that's going to be system-wide contacts. Personal contacts are going to be anything that I can only see myself. All right. And I'll be able to do things like integrate when I connect my, my phone and download the, uh, the app on my iOS or Android. I'm going to be able to see, have the ability to save personal contacts into the system so that I don't have to keep going to my cell phone to view personal contacts if I don't want to. Right. I can just have them pull right into the system. Nobody else is going to look at them. Nobody else is going to have access to them. And then when I want, I can revoke those contacts as well. Uh, Microsoft 365, if you do um, store a lot of contacts inside of 365 or your Outlook contacts, we can pull those in, no problem. And then your CRM. So this is uh, probably one of the bigger um, capabilities that we're seeing a lot of people uh, take advantage of. Um, they want that integration between the applications that they're running, right? So maybe you're using a Salesforce or a Zendesk or um, a Microsoft Dynamics, no problem. You know what, we're gonna take the system, we're gonna sync it to, um, and even HubSpot. We're gonna take the, the phone system, we're gonna sync it to your, your CRM solution, and we're gonna make it so those things are um, kind of sharing data. So the first, the simple things are things like the contacts, we can pull the contacts, from the system 
and put them into 3CX. In addition, we have the ability to do click to call and screen and screen popping um, through the CRM system. So if you, uh, let's say for instance, you, you're in a service-based industry, a call rings in, that call, the caller ID is recognized by your um, CRM system. It's gonna pop that, that company's information, possibly that user's information that's calling in. Uh, and then basically anything that you do, it will actually journal that information inside of the system. So there's a ton of functionality, a ton of integration between most of your major CRMs. And then we can also make it work with some of the CRMs that maybe aren't so common. Um, and, you know, we just, just talked to your sales rep um, about which CRMs uh, work the best and, um, and which ones we, we have some limited functionality on. But for the most part, we can kind of make anything, anything work. So as I look in here and I start to drill down and I go into CRM, um, you're going to see that it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just pulling all the contacts from, from the CRM systems and what have you, right? Um, and the other cool thing about this is the search capability within contacts. So as I type in here, I can type in and let's just say I type in the name Greg and it's going to pull up a bunch of different Gregs in here, right? That could be um, different client-based names. It could be people that are connect, already connected to the system, you know, what have you. So um, as we start to really dump contacts in here, uh, the search capability is going to be really beneficial. And it will show you how those how those people come in. So right now I'm in CRM, so it's only going to search CRM. But if I was to click on all contacts, it's going to search in through all contacts. I also have the ability to manually add a contact in the system whenever I want. All I would do is hit the plus sign, type the contact name in. If I wanted to, it to just be for me, no problem. I would uncheck this box. If I wanted it to be for everybody to view, I would check this box. It would add it to the company phone book. Voicemail. I mentioned we have a number of different ways to check voicemail. So this is one way we can check voicemail. So basically, Um, I don't have any voicemails. I actually just recently cleared out my voicemail. But if I did have a voicemail, uh, basically I would have all my voicemails down, down the left-hand side of the screen. Um, I do have the ability to set up transcription on voicemail as well. So basically not only can I listen to my voicemails here, I can also read my voicemails. I have the ability that I can read, you know, set up um, voice to voice to text capability and it will transcribe my voicemail so I can either listen to it or read it if I want, which is a super nice feature. Um, and uh, I'll show you a, a few other different ways I can check voicemail as well. But one of the biggest ways that I can do it is through voicemail to email. Um, that's pretty much what everybody wants to see is that ability that they can actually listen to their voicemails right in their email. They don't want to have to go into the apps to do anything. They just want to to do it um, out of their email, no problem. We have that capability. Uh, we can set it to your voice. We can set your voicemails to go to your email. It'll send a wave file in that as an attachment, and then we can also transcribe it so you can you can read them inside of the uh, inside of the e email system. So that's the web client. Uh, it's very easy. It's extremely easy to use, um, and I've shown you a lot of the features of like kind of high level features. One thing I didn't show you was the ability to have just a dial pad. So if I click on the phone in the top right hand corner, I have the dial pad and I can make and take calls right from that dial pad. As I start dialing, it's going to give me options as I go down uh, through my available contacts or um, the team, if you will. So um, really, I don't have to manually type in here. I can just use my keypad as well. Um, so if I wanted to just type like that, I could use my keypad to type as well. So pretty straightforward, and it will also do a quick video spin up um, right, right through the system. So that's the web client, extremely functional, extremely capable. Um, use it with any type of device that you want as it pertains to, uh, like maybe you want to use a headset or a specific type of Bluetooth device, no problem. As long as it connects to your computer, you can use it. Just enable the audio on it and away you go. So the second piece of this is the mobile device. And this is kind of where I think uh, one of the coolest features is because um, coming from the uh, 
old school uh, traditional PBX, you know, for years of that, right? Um, web uh, mobile device integration to, to, to old PBXs was extremely difficult. Um, people don't realize how hard it was to basically make a call ring on a cell phone. Uh, very, very hard. Uh, 3CX has really done a good job at, at simplifying that process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unshare this screen. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen um, on my iPad. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to basically have the ability to uh, load a an app onto my cell phone and build out that, that information. So we're going to go back to the email um, that I had shown you before. And I'm pulling up that QR code. You're not seeing it right now, I understand, because I stopped sharing my screen. Um, but just in your mind, picture that QR code that I that I had shared with you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my um, my iPad screen, and I'm going to walk you through um, getting the app onto my iPad and um, getting getting a phone call to work. So this is my iPad. It's the front screen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the App Store. And I'm going to type in 3CX. So as I had mentioned, I am using an, an, an iPad. You can use an iPhone. You can use an Android device. <clears throat> Whatever you prefer. Doesn't matter, right? So for Android, go to the Google Play Store. For iOS, go to the App Store, the Apple App Store. No big deal. I'm going to go to the 3CX app, and I'm going to download it. and hit open. It's going to ask me to send notifications. Yep, I have to agree to the license agreement. Unfortunately, you know, everybody needs those terms and conditions approved. And then like everybody else in, in, in today's generation, we all know how to swipe, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swipe and it's going to ask me to scan a QR code. I'm going to click on scan QR code. And then I'm, it's going to ask me if it can access my camera, right? We have to have permission for everything. Hit OK, and then simply put, all I'm going to do – sorry, give me one second. All I'm going to do is I'm going to point, and boom. Now I'm ready for calls, right? It built my extension within one to two seconds. It's already done. System's already engaged. I, all I did was simply point my phone or my iPad at the QR code and within seconds it's built, okay? As you can see in the top right-hand corner, I'm in Do Not Disturb, as you recall, Do Not Disturb was on because I was in a, in, in a, in a, um, in a meeting. Uh, my dial pad, very easy, right? It's gonna, um, it's gonna ask me if I wanna allow my contacts. So as I had mentioned before, in order to share my personal contacts with the system, um, as soon as I load this app onto the system, it's going to uh, onto my onto my personal device. It's going to ask me, "Hey, do you want those personal contacts you have inside of the system? Nobody else is going to have access to them, just you. But if you do, go ahead and approve this." So I'll go ahead and hit OK. For those users who don't want their personal contacts, just hit Don't Allow. No big deal. Uh, those are those are for you. It's just functions that that are for you only so as i go up to the top i'm going to click on the hamburger um the hamburger is going to give me a bunch of information so i can look at my accounts i can look at um scheduling stuff if i want to send out a meeting i can check my voicemail by clicking voicemail i can click on some settings if i want change my ringtones what have you as i look on the bottom left hand side of the screen i'm going to see my status as you can see, these are all the different statuses or availability for all those users that are connected to the system. Really, really nice function. And then as I drill in, I'm going to get a little bit more information, right? So as you can see, I'm in Do Not Disturb, so it's going to send calls to my voicemail. I can also hit on this I at the end, over there. And it's going to give me a little bit more information, right? So I want to make a phone call. I want to check my voicemail. I want to email that user or myself, if you will my extension number and then also if you give us your mobile number we'll plug your mobile number in there and this makes it nice so that you can pick and choose who um who to call and when to call them right or where what device to call them from 
as I move over, I have my contacts. So these are all the different contacts that are, that are in the system that are integrated. As you remember from the other system, they're all in there. I've got my keypad. I've got my recent calls. Um, I'm only going to show you all are missed. And then I can actually drill in and do a number of different things. I can look at mobile numbers. I can look at call history, what have you. And then my chats, right? So I had mentioned before, we're going to be able to see chats from anywhere. Okay, with any of the with any of the applications that we want to run. So it is super nice. So I go ahead and I click in as the chat I was just talking with Tony about. I can just in continue the chat here. And it'll pick up and run, right? So I see that single check mark. Um, it'll move to a double check mark when he looks at it, and then I can see that he's typing back to me, right? So um, it is super awesome. It works really, really, really well, okay? Um, you know, for those users that aren't using Teams or anything like that, this system uh, is a good replacement at no additional charge. And that's really about it for the um, for, for the mobile app, right? It, it, it's just extremely functional and it's quick to set up and it's available for every employee that wants to take advantage of it. Again, I live on this thing, right? A lot of times when I'm working, I am, you know, listening to headphones or what have you. So calls ring in, I can answer my calls right from this device. And then, as I had mentioned before, the last and final way that we can make calls uh, make and receive calls is just by having a traditional desk phone. So those users that 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 don't need all of the um, bells and whistles, uh, they just want to be able to make and take calls on a desk phone. You know what? No problem. We can turn all these other things off. You don't have to take advantage of them. But just know, for every user, you have the option of any of these uh, tools that we are that we are talking about. Um, some just a co couple high level uh, additional capabilities of the system that I did want to mention. Um, so for those you for those people that like to report on on calls, uh, we do have call reporting built right into the system. With a lot of other systems, you have to have um, some sort of third party application running. You have to pay extra money in order to basically do you know reporting on either inbound or outbound or all. Um, so so that can add a little bit more of an expense to the solution. Uh, we've offloaded that and we've gotten rid of that additional expense. It's just included right in, this, in, in, in the cost of the, um, uh, of the solution. Um, there's a lot of pre-built in uh, reports. There's about 20 or 30 reports that are just built in and they can be somewhat customized and adjusted and, and uh, everything you need to, to be successful for, for the business. Um, in addition, um, I had mentioned like slightly that we can record calls. So we do have the ability to record um, as many calls as you want, uh, you know, percentage, record all, record inbound only, record outbound, what have you. Uh, and we can save those recordings. Um, you get a terabyte of storage included with the, um, with the offering through PGH. Uh, in addition, we have the ability, we can offload those um, recordings to either e an email box or send them to another um, place for storage. Uh, we can archive them, we can clear them out after a certain amount of time, what have you. So um, really, really, really nice system. Honestly, it's coming from uh, the heritage that we have. Um, we know all the trials and tribulations that that come with managing phones and building phone systems. And it's just very, very uh, refreshing at how easy this is to manage and, and maintain. So uh, if you're interested, please reach out to us. We'd, we'd love to talk to you. Hey, Derek? Chuck, that's all I have for today from a demo standpoint. Derek, can you hear me? This is Chuck. Yep. I got a quick question for you. I remember uh, being relatively new with the company uh, starting in July. I remember you were telling me about the extensive amount of research uh, that went into evalu evalu evaluating the other competitors in this space. And, and I forgot to ask you, what stood out about 3CX and, you know, why did we become a goal partner? Honestly, it was the ease of of the setup and deployment for us. Um, we've done a number, just a number of different types of solutions. Um, and what we found was uh, a lot of your traditional PBXs, although they're really good at at granular call handling, they kind of stunk at some of the features like the mobile and um, 
work from home type features, right? It was, it, it made them very difficult. 3CX gets rid of all that, right? So we found that a lot of companies don't really need super granular call routing. Um, although that that is a, a, a feature that's built in. Um, what they really need is the ability to basically let their people work when they need to work and, and be mobile and um, have, you know, apps on different devices. So uh, 3CX really has helped with that tremendously. Um, in addition to that, I think the way that we, I'd like to look at our implementation or our service offering as somewhat of a hybrid. Um, we've come from a traditional uh, voice vendor, if you will. Uh, and and in, in those days, it required, you know, we'd come on site, we installed the system, we put all the phones out, we did trainings for all of the users on site. We brought people in the conference rooms. We spent time with the receptionists, you know, um, and, and that's what we know. That's what we've done for years and years and years. That is not how things work in a, with a lot of uh, other hosted voice over IP providers. Um, a lot of times they're going to ship you a phone, send you an email, you know, give you a link for a training document and or, or a training, even a training video, and 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 you're kind of on your way. Um, we don't go that approach, right? We can't, we came from that kind of traditional uh, PBX uh, type mentality, and I think that's really what sets us apart is is how we approach our implementation and our support, right? With all of our systems, we're going to come on site, we're going to install the system, we're going to train your users, um, you know, whether that be in a conference room or one on one or train the trainer, uh, and we're going to make sure that everything goes the way it should because there's um, this is a very important decision that you have to make uh, moving to another type of solution, and it can be can be very stressful. Uh, we want to try to remove some of that stress, and we we think that that's what really sets us apart from the rest of the industry. Yeah, I think for me, you know, just in layman's terms, the two things that really stand out are, you know, being able to work from anywhere, from any device, and also, you know, to be able to use your company phone number. Uh, which yeah. in some cases can be a safety uh, and security concern where you don't have to worry about, you know, getting callbacks at, at the wrong times of the day with your employees. So those are just two, two very simple things that I think are phenomenal about this product. Absolutely. And uh, BYOD is a big phrase nowadays, right? Bring your own device. Um, and companies are really 50-50 um, as it pertains to like, do I do provide a device? Do I provide a cell phone for the employees um, or do I not? Uh, some companies do, some companies don't. And I, I agree with you, Chuck. I think um, as we basically say, look, download this app to your device, um, you no longer have to give out your personal cell phone anymore, right? So you kind of limit that control. Uh, you're able to manage the control um, by basically just saying, hey, here's here's a phone number you can always get a hold of me up with. You can text me on it. You can call me on it. You know, I'll call you back on it. You can leave me a voicemail, what have you. Um, I, I agree. I think I think that's really a good a good point, right? So it kind of protects the business and it protects the employee. Well, great demo today, Derek. Every time I watch you do it, I learn more and more about the system. So thank you. Thank you very much. Well, guys, um, I think uh, that's it for today, and um, I'm gonna open it up. If there's any questions whatsoever, we'll leave it open for the next few minutes. Um, if you do have questions, go ahead and throw them in the chat. And uh, Nicole, if you could just bring it up and let us know what the questions are, and I'll do my best to answer. If you aren't comfortable with questions uh, in the chat, uh, feel free to shoot us an email. Um, Nicole, what's the best uh, uh, email address to send those uh, requests over to? Marketing at pghnetworks.com. Excellent. So if you guys send those requests over to marketing at pghnetworks.com, um, we'd love to answer your questions. Uh, in addition, uh, feel free to email uh, Chuck uh, Chuck over here uh, if you are interested in getting a demo that's a little bit more customized or built for you specifically. Um, Chuck would love to uh, schedule some time with you. Hey, Chuck, what's your email address that they could they could reach out to you on? C Cooper at pghnetworks.com. 
Excellent, excellent. So again, see Cooper at PGHnetworks.com. Chuck, I'd love to spend some time talking with you.